One was even in California. One lives here in the Chicago area. One of them would fly in. Another one, this one will come in here. Guys, they were inseparable. And you see them. Honestly, you feel a sense of family, community, love. But then the politics came. The sister in California stood for Obama. The sister in Illinois, in Chicago area, stood for John McCain. And these two, at, during the campaign, the two sisters had fighting with each other. They were fighting bitterly for political manifestos. And my friends, to cut my story short, up till today, as you see, they are looking at me. The two of them are not talking to each other. Because one voted for McCain, one voted for Obama. My question is, does it worth it to lose their sister because of politics? I call them because I know these people. I asked the other sister, have you met Obama before? No. Has Obama called you to the White House? No. I called the other sister. When was the last time you met John McCain? I've never seen him physically apart from television. And now two of you are able to lose each other and bring this kind of bitterness into your family because of these two people that live far away. And probably these two, they have taken coffee together or tea together since that time and you have lost your sister. My friends, Jesus today in the scriptures is talking about what politics and religion can do. If we do not, I repeat, if we do not examine them, take them very carefully and remembering there is Caesar, there is God. Look at what Jesus is doing here. During the time of Jesus, there was IRS. IRS was not start today. They were trying to treat him. They were trying to bring him down. They were trying to alienate him with his faith and religion. But do you see the wisdom of Jesus? Do you see how Jesus handled this that he even without Shattering anybody, bringing anybody down, did you see how he handled it? Can you and I handle politics and religion like Jesus today? With wisdom, with love, with kindness, with sweetness, with humility, but with the truth. Truth. My friends, you can tell this, the truth without trying to destroy other person. And my friends, when we tell the truth, and we want to use the truth to destroy another person, honestly, we are not into God. We are not into God. Because then you'll be like the Pharisees that Jesus is talking about here. Yes, I know the truth. Therefore, you do not know the truth. I'm better than you. Is that the way to disseminate the truth to people? Is that the way to show them the truth? With arrogance? Where is humility? Where is love? Do you see the way Jesus handled this? But at the same time, it's still for the truth. My dear friends, in our own religion and politics, that is what God is telling us to do. I mean, seriously, like you are going to hear all this political nonsense, politically correct thing and incorrect thing. Oh, happy holidays, happy holidays. You know what? I know that so-called happy holidays is happy Christmas or Merry Christmas. I'm going to look at you with joy and sweetness. Merry Christmas. Even if you say to me, happy holidays, I say, Merry Christmas, bye. <laughs> Why do I want to really fight with you? Why do you tell me happy holidays? <laughs> My dear friends, the way you could do this, honestly, may make the other person, even though he or she wanted to treat you, even to become a shame. You don't need to throw stones. That is the way even what Pope John Paul II, what Pope Benedict and this president Pope are saying about new evangelization. How we use our hearts to win people to God. 
not to use our tongue to destroy them, like the Pharisees wanted to do. God has given all of us wisdom. And I said, does it work in if you lose your family just because of your manifestos? Even guys, you know what? You can use your manifestos in a loving way to convince your people rather than fighting them, rather than making demonizing them, rather than telling them they are going to burn in hell. We can do like Jesus. And you know what? You take the way of Jesus, trust me, you are not going to have bitterness in your heart by trying to bring the truth to people. Because you are going to do it with love. And what is it that is more important than love? Don't forget that God himself is love. And that is why God is calling us to love. But with Jesus here, believe it or not, even though he knew there was corruption during his time, that the money of the tax was not used for her, read it in the scriptures. When they cornered him to pay tax, Jesus could have said, you guys are idiots. I am the son of God. How dare you tell me to pay tax, go to hell? You could have told them that. But look at what Jesus did. Listen to this. God, son of God, the maker of everything, he told Simon Peter, hey, Let's go to work. Peter went to work and then they got the two amounts. The two coins. Give it to them. Give it to them. I don't want conflict. I don't want, but I need a good atmosphere in order to sow the seed that God wants me to sow. The seed of love, the seed of unity, the seed of kindness, the seed of compassion. My dear friends, you could then see the method of Jesus, how he was able to later on with all these Pharisees. Some of the disciples of Jesus were Pharisees before. One of them became an apostle. These were the people, honestly, you are going to hear even the disciples of the Pharisees abandon the Pharisees later and follow Jesus. Because Jesus was not doing this wrong with arrogance. He did not try to bring down anybody. He did not try to preach with bitterness. But at the same time, he stood for the truth. So the question that God is giving you and I today, have you been like the Pharisees? You have the truth, but who try to destroy every other person? Because you feel that you monopolize the truth? But all... Oh, can you be like Jesus, not like the Pharisees, using the truth and bringing people to God? That is why God is saying, I love you. You are mine. You are the ones I'm sending out. But in order for you to bear fruit, follow the way that I have set for you, the example I've given you. And like he told the apostles, I've given you a new commandment. Love one another as have loved you. Amen? Amen.